is a mesmerizing art form, but the story behind how stained glass came to be and what it takes to make it is just as fascinating. Channel 3's Leon Bibb explores the world of stained glass for us tonight. In this place, there is sometimes a tapping, other times a more delicate touch. But be careful, this is glass. You've heard of houses made of glass. Well, this one boasts of sheets of it, and each piece labeled for each will one day fit into a puzzle of intricately cut glass artistry. We have these racks you see behind me, and each sample of glass has a number on it that corresponds to the bin it's in. Artists with sure hands maneuver cutters through pieces of colored glass. They're making stained glass windows, Owner Peter Billington learned the art from studio founder Jim Whitley. For 13 years, Billington has watched an old art form business grow because there is still much call for it. Right now, yeah, it's feast or famine. We've been feasting for a while. So yeah. Feast your eyes here. Most of Whitney stained glass art is restoring old work, some of it hundreds of years old. Think buildings with stained glass windows. All those individual pieces bound by lead to hold them in place. You know, turn of the century, this, this city was booming. They were putting tons of beautiful windows in. In the dim light of the upstairs are some windows he has been asked to store until owners can better place them. Well, this is from the Temple to Ferrith which was originally installed on their 55th Street location. Regardless of whether the windows are old or new, artists have a reverence for the work. No matter the subject in the art, stained glass brings about a feeling. There's something about it that really affects their heart and their soul when they see it. Cleveland's Old Stone Church. Whitney Stained Glass has done some restoration work on windows more than 100 years of age. The windows tell even older stories. About a thousand years ago, the first stained glass windows began appearing in churches and other religious buildings. The windows were there to tell stories. You see, back then, most people could not read, and the windows had pictures to tell of the events of which the people needed to know. The old saying, a picture is worth a thousand words. True back then, true today, because the windows still speak. The artists create the language of the windows, but the idea of them has not changed. These are windows not designed to see through, but to look in. For Channel 3 News, I'm Leon Bibb.